So we'll wrap up this week's SIP rep with information from ED's newsletter this week, and they announced that uh, they have a new campaign for the Mi24 Hind, the Revanche uh, campaign, which parallels the existing SU25 campaign of the same name, apparently. I kind of like this thing because it brings in the versatility of the modules that we have now. Uh, you can still be using, I guess, an old campaign, but you're flying from a different perspective, which I think is neat. They mentioned here, too, that after reviewing the swash plate movement limits between the MI24V and the MI24P variants, they don't believe they need to make any corrections to that in the game as it is currently implemented. Uh, they came to this conclusion thanks to uh, important information and feedback from an SME. So uh, with regards to the campaign, it should be implemented in the next update to Open Beta 2.9, which is exciting. Now, following the announcement last week, or the last couple of weeks of the Phantom 2, which included some new weapons, ED also provided a development progress update to one of the mentioned weapon systems, the AGM-45 Shrike. With the development of SAM radar systems, remember, it wasn't long before we saw development of standoff weapons to tackle and dismantle these systems, and the Shrike was one of those early design weapons, and it required the use of actually different uh, seeker heads, which were tuned to different frequency bands, of which there were about 10 uh, missile warheads that they could use to uh, counteract, if you like, or uh, find these uh, radar bands. Now, if you employed a wide band, these were used on a family of radars, while narrow band uh, seeker heads were used to strike specific types of radio emitting equipment. So this opens up some really potentially interesting discussions about the practical and tactical use of radars, both surface and air-to-air, systems within the game. Now, if you've been watching the excellent F-15 series of interviews with Disco Diddley from the 10% True podcast, uh, he discussed and described avoiding locking up enemy bottom bombers to avoid uh, getting counter jammed by the uh, powerful ECS, ECM systems on board some of the Russian aircraft. And he said they could effectively take the radar cursor and write your own name on the screen if you tried to jam them, which gave away you as in your direction, etc., but also made the um, ability to, uh, to track the aircraft impossible. So uh, what they would do is, is wait to the last possible moment before doing that and try to VID the aircraft, which he said, obviously, with a large aircraft like some of the Russian bears, it wasn't all that difficult to do that. So this really creates, again, like I said, some interesting discussion points about the cat and mouse work, which involves wild weasel work or um, air-to-air interception work with radars, uh, which is, I think, a lot more nuanced and um, dangerous than perhaps uh, many DCS pilots perhaps are aware. And as I said before, it could become quite demanding work in a Cold War server, which again is exciting stuff. So all of it really is not only exciting stuff, but I think it's promising stuff as well about some of the directions that we're seeing things go. Remember that uh, ED has done some work on the um, calculations involved with the F-18 and the F-16's radar. I haven't had a chance to do that, mainly because my joystick uh, the base at least is kind of munded right now, so I haven't been able to, um, without having to re-program uh, everything onto the, the, the throttle quadrant, which is not convenient and you start to learn bad habits. Um, I'm just waiting for the new base to arrive, which is being delivered by UPS. Uh, as we speak, so hopefully that will arrive. That's a verbal machine that I'm going to get, so I'm looking forward to having that because it has the adjustable cams, which I think is going to give me more flexibility with different types of aircraft and also helicopter flying. So that's a whole different discussion. We'll see you next time on the DCS sit rim. This is Prickly Hedgehog out. Six o'clock high, nine o'clock high. Seven o'clock. He's coming right.